Hello viewers, welcome to Math Tech. I am Amit Sharma. Today we are going to solve a question of ordinary differential equation from Gate Mathematics 2020. The question is from the topic Frobenius method. So without a delay, let's start. Question is: Suppose that phi1 and phi2 are linearly independent solutions of the differential equation 2x square y double dash minus x plus x square y dash plus x square minus 2 into y equal to 0 and phi 1 0 equal to 0 then the smallest positive integer n such that limit x approaches to 0 x to the power n phi 2 x divided by phi 1 x equal to 0 is in order to solve the question we have to learn the following results result number 1 a point x equal to x naught is called an ordinary point of the differential equation y double dash plus px y dash plus qx y equal to 0 if px and qx both are analytic at x equal to x naught. If any of px and qx is not analytic at x equal to x naught, then x equal to x naught is called singular point. Result number 2. A singular point x equal to x naught is called regular singular point if both x minus x naught into px and x minus x naught square into qx are analytic at x equal to x naught. Otherwise, it is called irregular singular point. Given differential equation is 2x square y double dash minus x plus x square y dash plus x square minus 2 into y equal to 0 which can be further written as y double dash minus x plus x square divided by 2x square into y dash plus x square minus 2 divided by 2x square into y equal to 0 which implies px is minus of x plus x square by 2x square and qx is x square minus 2 divided by 2x square. Here px and qx are not analytic at x equal to 0 this implies x equal to 0 is a singular point. Also, limit x approaches to 0, x into px is equal to minus 1 by 2. And limit x approaches to 0, x square into qx is equal to minus 1. Which implies x equal to 0 is a regular singular point. Now, by using Frobenius method, let the series solution be y equal to summation n varies from 0 to infinity a n x to the power m plus n. Therefore, y dash is summation n 0 to infinity m plus n into a n x to the power m plus n minus 1. And y double dash is summation n varies from 0 to infinity m plus n into m plus n minus 1 a n into x raised to the power m plus n minus 2. Substituting the values of phi, y dash and y double dash in the given equation, we have this equation. It can be further simplified as this, which is further simplified in the form of this. Equating to 0 the coefficient of lowest power of x, that is x to the power m. The initial equation is 2m into m minus 1 minus m minus 2 into a naught equal to 0. This implies 2m square minus 3m minus 2 equal to 0 because a naught cannot be 0, which implies m is minus 1 by 2 and m is equal to 2. Equate the coefficient of x to the power m plus 1 to 0, we have 2 into m plus 1 into m into a1 minus m plus 1 into a1 minus m into a0 minus 2a1 equal to 0 which implies a1 is equal to a0 divided by 2m square plus m minus 3. Similarly, equate the coefficients of various power of x to 0 to find the values of a2, a3 and so on. Substituting the values of a1, a2 and so on in the series solution, we have y equal to x to the power m into a0 plus a0 x divided by 2m square plus m minus 3 plus and so on. Putting m equal to 2 and m equal to minus 1 by 2, we get two linearly independent solution. 
y equal to a naught x square into 1 plus 1 by 7 into x and so on. It is represented as phi 1x because it satisfies the given initial condition phi 1 0 equal to 0. And another solution is a naught x to the power minus half into 1 minus 1 by 3x plus and so on. It is represented by phi 2x. Now we have to find the smallest positive integer n such that limit x approaches to 0, x to the power n, phi 2x divided by phi 1x equal to 0. That is limit x approaches to 0, x to the power n, a naught x to the power minus half into 1 minus 1 by 3x plus and so on, divided by a naught x square into 1 plus 1 by 7x plus and so on equal to 0. Now a naught is cancelled with a naught and we if we put x equal to 0, we get limit x approaches to 0, x to the power n minus 5 by 2 equal to 0. It is true only when n is greater than 2 by 5 and we have to choose a positive integer which implies n is equal to 3. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like the content, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. If you have any query, comment me. Thank you very much.